Hey, what's up guys? I'm Avalanche Fan 133 and welcome back to my NHL 14 Be a Pro Goalie Mode. This is game number 79 on my uh third yeah, third overall season in this Be a Pro mode. Second season with the Dallas Stars. I got one more after this. Anyways, uh seven games have passed since my last episode against the Edmonton Oilers. Right after that, I won 3-2 against the Vancouver Canucks, and then it just started playing me like every night. And I had a terrible start against Nashville and just got destroyed. Came back nicely with a 5-3 win against the Blues, 1-5-2 against the Blackhawks in back-to-back -back games, then won 6-2 against the Predators, and then I finally got benched for Kari Lettinen against the Blues, and he won 2-1. And then finally the winning streak stopped and we lost 4-2 just last game against the Colorado Avalanche. Our offense finally cooled off and I gave up some bad goals. Two of them were rebound. Two of them were rebound goals. The other was just a bad positioning mistake that I allowed a goal in a shot. Anyways, I have upgraded my stick high a point. Uh, I think shot recovery, but I can't remember if I've done that recently. I'm almost to another point again there. Uh, and I haven't done anything on athletic. Thanks to that nice winning streak, which was nice, <laughs> I have 16 wins now. 16 and 25, 41 games played. I've already played half of our season. So it looks like I'm taking over the reins, I guess. <laughs> Which is kind of weird because Lettinen's better. He even has tons better numbers. But I've got my numbers a little bit better. 3.66 goals against average and 87.7% save percentage. Anyways, the real thing we need to check is the standings. It's all going pretty dang well until that loss. But we're still not eliminated. The maximum amount of points we can get is 89, and San Jose is in that last spot at 89. So we have to have them lose all three games. If we had won at Colorado, and if we won out, the max we could get is 91, and all we would need is Vancouver to lose. So that was a huge loss that pretty much dampened our hopes and it doesn't look likely but I'm not gonna count us out just yet I do want to look San Jose let's them in the last 10 uh, nope two six and two so there's a chance they could lose out the last three but also we have to worry about Calgary because they I believe can get yeah, they just need two wins or a win and an overtime loss to go over 89, and that would knock us out too. So, yeah, not looking good. Uh, actually, one win. No? If we win three, no, yeah, they would have 40 uh, regulation plus overtime wins, and that would eliminate us, I think. So, uh, well, this will be my last episode of a game of the season after this it will either be playoffs which isn't likely or the season wrap-up which is pretty likely it'll be that uh they changed up the line peverley is now on the second line and i did hear about that uh my thoughts and prayers to rich peverley after him falling over on the bench that was a scary moment in dallas and they postponed that uh, Columbus-Dallas game. Yeah, hopefully he'll be all right and have a speedy recovery. And I didn't know he was playing for Dallas. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my team just uh, signed him. Yeah, and apparently he was already playing for Dallas. I did not know that. Um, wow, I was pretty surprised at that. Anyways, he's on the third line now. They put Cody Eakin up on the second, which is a little weird. I'm really surprised. They're the, both the same overall. I assume Eakin climbed up to 82. I think he was 81 or lower before the season started. But our offense was on fire during that winning streak. It kind of cooled off. Uh, it started when Kari Lettinen started against the Blues. We only scored two goals, and then we only scored two goals just last game against Colorado, and I could not keep Colorado down. 
on the scoreboard. Riley Smith is 89 overall, and uh, Brandon Dillon just got injured. There's so much that went on. <laughs> I'm so surprised I'm starting this many games, but I'm happy too. I feel like I'm getting a bit into a groove, and hopefully this even could be my last game of the season. I'm not scheduled for the last two games. I kind of expect to get knocked in Center, Paul, and to play the one of those games, but I have no idea if I will or not. So this very well could be my last. I haven't had a shutout this season, which I thought I might get against one of those teams in that winning streak. I probably should have. It was pretty easy games. And at the start of the year. Oh, point, and that's another, another rebound. He got it with the stick. Oh, what a save. Sheesh. Now I completely forgot what I was saying even. Well, those games on the winning streak was very easy for me. Our defense was great. Our offense was great. My whole team was playing great. I was okay. Good enough to win. I'll say that. But I have to be better than that. And I think I was in some of those games. I don't know. Oh, I just got knocked way over. There's a penalty. So we'll get an early power play. Minnesota with some chances early. I cannot believe my goalie made that stick save. That was huge. Looks like it was Parise getting called for hooking. First chance of the game. Oh, chasing and shot it right into Eakin. So Cody Eakin tried to pass to the front, got blocked. I didn't look at who's in net for Minnesota. Oh, it's in front. Eakin with a great shot and goal. Goski got it. Poked off his stick. Tried too many moves. Who what pressure on this power play and finally. Minnesota gets it out. Wow. That was awesome pressure. Alex Chasen back in. Hammered it wide. Heatley gets bumped off. Eakin now gets bumped off. And Suter's getting pinned. Eakin will steal it. Pass across one timer. Milstrop in net. And he made the save. Wow. What pressure on this power play. Minnesota 3-7-0. and oh, That's not great. I'm happy to be winning at the end of the season. Whether we make the playoffs or not, just happy to be winning. And it gets my hopes up for next season. Good save there. Jamie Benn with it. Tomorrow, and that got deflected on and saved. I'm not going to be able to get that as that was just hammered around. Erickson's slapper gets deflected wide. And we're back to full strength. What a power play for my team, but we could not score. Comes Minnesota with Pominville. Ooh! Got deflected into the glove. Oh, hang on. Kind of got lucky with that one. Antropov right in front. 13.37 left. Setaguchi gets it. Oh, did a little spin around, but I was right there to make the save. Oh, boy. Let's just whack that out of there. I didn't know that for a while. If you hold down on the right thumbstick, it, it will kind of make him... Oh, get it. Thank you. It'll be like more of guarding the post with your stick. Your goalie will swat it away. I was using that for a while. And then sometimes I don't because it'll slow you down getting off that post if they get around you. I'm going to hang on to that again as Almond <laughs> will knock that loose. And Minnesota wins that. And deflected in. Almond. <laughs> I can't help but laugh at that name. I just think of almonds. <laughs> Cody Almond. His fifth. He deflects it in. I'm not even going to look at the uh, replay because I know exactly what happened. And I just want to keep it moving. Oh, so Minnesota on the board first on a really tough luck goal. Koivu shot on, made the glove safe. Minnesota coming out 
very quick and hard and early. So they're getting all the pressure. I'm used to my team just pouring it on early in the game. Granlund will skate in and get knocked off the puck by Larson. Larson's turning into a solid defender. He's up to 84 overall, I think. Oh, and he just unraveled me. I don't know what to say. Setaguchi with the turnover. Followed him. I didn't expect him to be able to go back. I wish my defender would have just taken away that room. That was Larson. So that's 2 nothing. is I was not at all ready for that. I got to be more alert. Minnesota completely just going all out. Attack. Sanganetti with a nice pass out of the zone. Goes Alex Chasen over to Frazier with a good shot, but a save. And we'll get a face-off in the Minnesota end. This would be a good point to talk about something, but I don't know what to. <laughs> the Avs and Blackhawks are on tonight, recording this on Wednesday, which this should have been out Wednesday. Apologize for that, but got busy over the weekend and couldn't play some games. I didn't even plan on really recording this game, but just came down to needing the episode done, and we're kind of in the playoff race. I need to get an episode out in the playoff race. Probably should have done it earlier. I don't know. <laughs> Over seven uh, minutes left to go. We're in the first period. Cody Eakin on the draw. It will lose it to Antropov, it looks like. Over to Zucker now. He'll dump it in behind the goalie. Me. <laughs> Back to the point. Ooh, deflected on. Made the save. It stayed on the ice. Spurgeon threw that back in. Offside, though. Coil back to Spurgeon. Over to Zucker. He'll dump it in again, even though he was deep and had plenty of room to skate in for a shot. But I guess they're doing a line change. It's Frazier. Shots uh, blocked. <laughs> I was going to say shot save, but yeah, that was not a save. Dumped in deep for Ben. Ben's got it. Good chance. Got knocked off. Looked like uh, Riley Smith ran right into him after that. Oh, boy. Good play, but didn't know where it was. And the rebound off the pad goes in, or Pominville puts it in. Boy. I guess I should have realized I kicked out the left pad. Move over to the left. Oh, this is going badly. <laughs> Three nothing in this first period. It's like a completely different team I'm playing for now. I mean, I wasn't great in that winning streak, but my team definitely made it very easy for me. Shot, easy save. Moro's trying to stick with it. Got it. To Nemeth, and he'll pass up to Ben. Ben gets that picked off by Granlund. And he'll turn back the other way and give it to Setaguchi. Big shot. Save as it just went along the ice, and Granlund has it. Pass the point. Glove save. Don't really have anybody to pass to, so I'll hang on to that. Boy, this has been a rough first period. Very, very rough. Hopefully it won't be rough the rest of the game. Not looking great for our playoff hopes because if we lose this, we're eliminated even. We have to get to 89 and have San Jose lose out, but I don't think San Jose is going to lose all three games, but we got to try to have hope. But down 3 nothing. It's going to be a tough game. I don't remember very much where we came back from a 3 nothing early deficit. 
And I will take, at very least, most of the blame for this. <laughs> We've completed our first period of play. I should. Boy, some defense has got to be found somewhere. Three zip after one. Three off the of 15 shots. We only had nine and barely any time on attack. Look at how they played in their own end. They've got to get control of that. Let's go, second period. Gotta hope it's better. Get at least one. Hope for two. Uh, something about three. I don't know. <laughs> Be amazed by three. I don't know. We're just getting some shots from way out. With nobody in front. No rebounds. Nothing. Got to get some pressure in the offensive zone. Zach Parise will skate it all the way out. Back into our zone. Gets around him. Great hit. Don't know where that went, but had it in front of me. Great job, but Parise just skating right past the defenders. Had a great chance. My defense looks like Swiss cheese tonight. <laughs> Goligoski skating in. Got the chance and scores. Wow. Their defense just backed right up and let him skate right in. And that stops the bleeding. Kolgoski right around the defender and pulled it right back to the forehand and sent it in. Good job by him, and it's 3-1. to one. We are back with life. 17-18, plenty of time to get two more goals, but we've got to keep up in trying to get pressure in the offensive zone. Oh, great deflection. I think that was chasing and just saved by the goalie. Heatley will dump that in around the boards. Goligoski got bumped off by Setaguchi. He will skate around. Slapper on, hit his own man. Pass up to Frazier. Frazier over to Chasen. He'll look over options. Skate in deep. Got bumped off, but stuck with it. Still has the puck. Getting pinned now. Eakin grabs it. Eakin broke his stick on the shot. Here comes Minnesota as they dump it in, and looks like they're doing a line change. Sanganetti up to Smith. Riley Smith. Shot on saved. Not a great shot. Dumped in again. Definitely dump in a little more often here. Oh, I thought that was going to be picked off for a second. Alexiak tried the long pass out to Ben. It was not icing. I don't know if that hit him or not or what happened. The wing. He's got the coil, and he will dump it in. Zucker after it. Oh, just missed the pass in front. Well defended. Here's Peverley. Backskating, backskating across, and scores. No defensive pressure on him. Had all the time, all the room. Only assist goes to Sanganetti. I would have been pissed if I was their goalie. <laughs> Peverley makes it 3-2. to two, Almost halfway through the game, and we're coming back. So if I just tighten up and not allow anything more, we can come back in this. Parise, shot on, save, and score. Miko Koivu. Oh, that happened so fast. I couldn't move. My goalie was still done with the first shot. That's what I've been having. Oh, if he just would have stayed down. Sent it right through the five hole. Gets up. Mm, that's rough. So after that goal, a little breathing room. Nice place to be, huh? Up by two. I most of the time after a save, I'll keep holding down the left trigger to stay down. I'm not sure if I did that there. I think I might have let up and the goalies automatically get back up. So, man, my goalie has been giving up a lot of rebounds, a lot of big rebounds recently, and he's, uh, he's got 93 rebound control. I don't know why. 
It's just been crazy. So that dampens the comeback a little bit. Now we gotta come back by two again. Jamie Ben gets it. Got the stick lifted, but stuck with it. Spin around. Morrow is a shot, gets blocked. Slowy Erickson. Skate away from the check. Getting pinned in the corner. Suter took it away. Pass across the ice to Crab. And he will dump it in. No, you can't get it done by yourself. Get the blue this is a really and rough game for me. And I would rather this not be the last game of the season for me. I wanted to end on a high note, not a low. And I was doing so good in the last few weeks. It's disappointing. But I can't let this affect me. I just got to go out and try to play better next game. It's Eakin. Great shot. Good save. Didn't get that elevated enough. Oh, I thought that was going to be a dump in. Instead, it was a save. Or a shot on. He can try to go across. Going for the puck. Drilled one of the Minnesota defensemen. And dumped in again by Minnesota. Goligoski has it. Tried to send that across to Larson, but he missed it. And here's Emerton, I think. To Over to Conley. Shot, shot on save. Right Their goalie there. has been pretty solid. Much better than I have been. 3.27 left. Minnesota leading in the faceoff. They're 12 of 19. Yeah, now the we lost another one there. Coil over to Brodin and Zucker. Shot on, easy save. Larson has it. Somebody's hurt. Still staying down. No stoppage in the play, though if Minnesota touches it, it will stop. Jamie Ben, we got like a power play here. And he scores. Alex Goligoski on a weak shot along the ice. Makes it 4-3. to three. That's a huge goal. Was that his second? Ben and Larson. Yeah, because he had that first goal of the game for us. Man, that's a terrible goal allowed by Nilstrup. Not even. I'm not familiar with him. Oligoski with his second, showing some good leadership. Oh, I just got to tighten it down. Every time I say that... And I want to. Something terrible happens. <laughs> Something completely unexpected happens. Everlay gets bumped off as he went in deep to get that. Minnesota will skate that out. Into our zone. Save with the blocker. Parise. Oh, that just about popped in. And the net got knocked off. I was trying, I was trying to hold the post. With Goligoski in the crease behind me. Minnesota's face -off win keeps the oh, he hit the side of the net. He might have had a good amount of room. Spot. I moved to my right. I couldn't see where that was. And we finished the second period. Four to three. Blood of up and down action. Both Should have a good ending. A close game. This is Hopefully. A game we've seen the body played. It's brutal, Gary, and it's one side. Pretty even. Pretty even game. Exactly third period. Koivu with it. Shot on. Another kind of big rebound. I mean, it just popped right out in front. Riley Smith. Shot on save. Denied five hole. And he'll hang on. We can count another save there. We can also count another This is a good shot. battle. Good game. I just wish I was doing enough. better. Yeah, goals against average and save percentage Spurgeon the over to numbers. Granlund. Granlund so over to Heatley. Work, Heatley will dump it in. Larson has it. He'll kick that to Goligoski. Goligoski up the middle. Over to Smith. Well, these fans good move around. Shot on save. Spurgeon will lose that to Smith. Ben has it. Ben to Goligoski looking for the hat trick. And I think that's Riley Smith who just hooked Spurgeon for the penalty. Shot on save with the blocker. And we will have to kill off a penalty. Yeah, Riley Smith for hooking. 
29th ranked power play for Minnesota. Doesn't mean they can't score. Ooh, I don't know what happened to that. Ooh, that was up high. Hit, I think, my guy. Shot on by Suter. And what was I doing? What was I doing? rebound goal goes up on the board take it I it, I don't know <laughs> shot on I I tried to grab it and I moved to the left as I was trying to grab it that may change how they're gonna play this third period started with a one I don't know that early second goal I just well they better not turtle I think they got a port on offensively wow defense playing in the other end Forgot how to play goalie there. <laughs> Five goals against, and we're back down by two. Mm. Rough. I just lost focus, got distracted. I think I might have gotten distracted by the penalty that I saw in the top right. But no excuses. Good play to get that puck away. In tight, got Save it. with the blocker. Still not out of the question the or out of the realm of possibility for the comeback, but definitely play. makes it tougher, the especially when we keep line. going down by two after cutting it to one. Oh, my team's got to be pissed at me. Picks that up at his own end. Not a lot of time left on this power play. Especially after the last one. Peverley has it. He'll kill off some of that power play. Big battle along the board. Oh, I was like, Riley Smith? I thought he took the penalty. No, there was a second one. They already scored on that one. Made the save there. Just kind of held my ground. Sanganetti with it. Pass that all the way across to Alexiak. Alexiak got bumped off. Oh, couldn't get it. Setaguchi already has a goal. Save there. I've been just getting destroyed by those rebound goals uh, as of late. That's wide, and Mora will throw that in front and covered. We'll get a face-off. 5-3 Minnesota. Not the way I wanted to go out with this. <laughs> Larson. Good shot. Easy save, kind of. Had a lot of guys in front, but we need two goals in 11 minutes. There we go. <laughs> Trying to grab that. Got a face off in our defensive end. 10.54 left. Going to need some offense. Save with a guy right in front. Might have been deflected. They're getting lots of traffic in front. And they're beating us to the uh, puck whenever there's a rebound. Maybe that's why I think... Ooh, power play. Maybe that's why I'm getting so many... Giving up so many rebound goals. Well, power play goal here, and then we got plenty of time to get another, but I wish we were still only down by one. Well, this play is going to be called interference, but it's kind of a gray area. I'm Need somebody so sure to step up the stars at this and point get their second power play come up with a goal. Parise will send that down. Goligoski with it. He has been big in this game. Two goals. Lowy Erickson. Slap on save. Riley Smith going to drive the net. Nope. Turned away. Over to Goligoski. Goligoski tried to get that to Erickson, but got picked off. Sanganetti sends it around. Ben will get that. Ben skates it out. Into the offensive zone. Pass across, missed. And Koivu will send that out. 40 seconds left in the power play. 
Golgoski up to Smith. Two on two on the rush. Smith in, Smith slapper. Up high, glove save. Get a faceoff with 27 seconds left on the power play. Need the faceoff win. Cody Eakin on the faceoff. He wins it. Chasen lost the puck on an attempted shot. Pass across, nice back pass to the center. The Morrow will ball. try again. Deflected, and Rich Peverley will get the rebound goal. And it's 5-4. to four. Again, we got another chance to tie it if I don't give up that second goal or another goal or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Peverley was his second goal. So it's Peverley with two and Kolagoski with two. That's interesting. Eakin gets pinned in the corner. Got plenty of time for the score, but we do need to keep pressuring to try to get it. The sooner we get it, the less pressure we'll have. Eakin passes that to Matt Frazier. Frazier into the offensive zone. Shot on save. Trying to steal that. Could not. Time starts going fast about this time, though. Save. Alexiak up to Eakin. Eakin over to Matt Frazier. He'll try to send that in deep. Hit a Minnesota player. It's Goligoski looking for the hat trick. Pass to Chasen. He'll skate around and get pinned. Lost it. Could have a two-on-one here. Tried the one-timer. I don't know why. Ooh, save. 330 left. Ooh. And lost the puck. Coil. Parise. Skating in. Bad angle. Ooh, save again. Can't allow another goal or else it's over. Boy, I'd love it if my team can tie it. Erickson's offside with 150 left here in the third. Jamie Ben on the faceoff against Koivu. And Koivu won it. I wish Ben was better in the faceoffs. It's my only gripe about him. Nice hit by Nemeth, knocking him off. Dangerous puck there. There is a penalty. We will get a power play with under a minute. Yeah, I was going to say we should let them touch the puck. Power play with 56.3 seconds left. Plus. We will pull the goalie. What do you do? Slashing. Two hmm. for the Their home captain, guys. Miko Koivu. One for two with nine shots. Face-off win. Sanganetti has it. I need to get ready to go off onto the bench. Oh, oh, another shot save. Suter will send that down. I'm going to send that in behind. Kills a little time. I'm going to start skating because it, yep, there we go. Six on four with the last 30 seconds, and Suter takes it. Could have had a clean break for the empty net, but the AI just programmed to clear it out. Went on the penalty kill. Under 20 seconds. Goes Jamie Ben, and he's offside. That one's going to stop on the offside. So we're going to need the face-off win. Get into that zone fast. Get a good shot. Ugh, ben with some great chances there. Solid goaltending there. Eakin on the face-off. He wins it. Larson has it. Can't fool around. He will enter the zone. Pass it to the middle, and Eakin got it taken away by Palmanville. And that's going to end it. 5-4 mm. loss to the Minnesota Wild. Minnesota's near the bottom of the standings in the conference. Beat a team that's also down there. Yeah, kind of clash of the bottom. We were in it till the end. So long, everybody. That's but how it. my bad goaltending lost the game. Thanks for being with us, and good night. 
five to four. We came back every time, but just that last one that I gave up ended up being the winner. Wasn't that last one where I just forgot how to play goalie? <laughs> I don't know. If I hadn't given up given up the three in the first, it may have been better. <laughs> but it's over. I don't know if that'll be my last game of the season, but that does end our playoff hopes. Goligoski and Peverley with the goals. Peverley only played eight minutes. Wow. See, that's the bad thing about it. putting him down to the third line. I think he should be on the second still. Well, we will not be in the playoffs again this year. Got to hope for better next season, and I've got to play better next season. I still feel like I played better this season. I'm gonna have a better save percentage. Let's see if I let's see if that is my last game of the season. Uh, the Wild were just too much for the Stars tonight. Did you expect a better performance from your team? Uh, I'm gonna go with X. I thought we played pretty good actually. We just couldn't catch a break because that's kind of how it was, and we went. Down negative three on the fan. Wow. Hmm. Maybe I was kind of lying. <laughs> I don't know. And I will be starting the last two games of the season. E. <laughs> was kind of hoping that would be it, or at least not be starting both. Let's see if I have any upgrades. I don't think so. I didn't get very much for that game. I could go with aggressiveness again. I did not act that up a notch. Uh, to 75, but overall, I don't think it's that important. Career statistics. Save percentage went down slightly. But still is better than last year, but I want it much better. I want it closer to 90%, but <laughs> that is a long ways off. I have improved on it season after season. Just not much. I, I'm disappointed I haven't had a shutout this season. Got close... Only one last year, but I did play 26 games last year. A lot less than this year, and I still don't have a shutout this year. I guess I haven't been lights out on any uh, games this year. Uh, season expectations. I do have a B on save percentage. That's okay. Nothing for the goals against average. A plus on the games played. I'm happy for that. I'll get like, I want to say like 240 experience points for the A plus, I think. No shutouts. And the 16 wins I have uh, A on. So I've lost the last two. Uh, I don't know why I'm pulling that up. Lost my last two starts. I'll have two more starts to try to get at least one more win. And we'll look if oops, if San Jose won or not. Because I'm kind of curious. Uh, yes, they did. So we were eliminated even without... Uh, even if we had won. But man, if we just won against Colorado and then won there. Vancouver, just one loss and we could have been in. So the losses did hurt a lot. The losses, I felt like, were all me, pretty much. If I hadn't give, gotten... We got down by too far, too early. I think we were down 3-1 to one against the Avs at one point. And that's kind of what happened. Getting down by two or more just takes out the team completely. Oh well, anyways, I hope to see you guys on the season wrap-up video. See what my team does, if anything. And see where I go on overall. Maybe I'll get a little better on my goalie. And uh, hopefully better next season. Hopefully see you guys, or yeah, see you guys next season. Hopefully a better season. And will be my last season with the Stars, probably. I don't know if I'm staying or not. We'll see. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video, please like, comment, and or subscribe. And I'm AvalancheFan133, and I will talk to you guys later.